Well, it is National Breakfast Month, and uh, there are plenty of easy ways to keep your belly full and happy. Dina is standing by to learn some healthy options to start your morning right on. Breakfast. Right on, yes. We are squeezing in one more September month of something because it is the 20th. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it is National Breakfast Month, and we want you all who are at home, of course, doing virtual learning to still be feeding your kids good, healthy breakfast even before they start school on Zoom, if that's the case. We've got Heather Smith with the Hot Bar joining us this morning. Heather, how are you? Thank you for being with us. Joining us from Colorado again. Okay, so let's go over some of the products that you have for breakfast. Getting everyone started off on the right foot. What do you got first for us? Well, first off, for everyone, I've got coffee. Maybe not so much the kids, but I have Rise Brewing Co. Nitro Cold Brew Coffee to fuel your mind with organic, sustainably sourced coffee. This was created by friends. <laughs> with this nitro infusion, if you heard that, and it makes it come out naturally with plenty of creamy froth. And this has one and a half times more caffeine than standard coffee, but it's 70% less, less acidic, and they've got something for everyone. They've got an oat milk mocha for the trend. They've got that original black, and there's even a nitro Earl Grey oat milk tea latte. Um, Rise also just launched oat milk for all your other breakfast needs. So check out risebrewingco.com. I love that. And you know, the nitro coffees, if you haven't tried them at home, they're a little smoother. It's kind of nice. It's kind of a nice smoothness. I like that they have the tea too. Okay. I see eggs next. What's going on with the eggies? <laughs> well, listen to this. Over the pandemic, about half of Americans are eating less um, meat products, more plant-based. And so this is one of my favorite breakfast staples made better with plants. This is folded just egg. And so it's plant-based egg, but it's perfect for filling those breakfast sandwiches. It's toaster ready. It's already folded. You literally put this in the toaster, put it in a skillet, and it comes out fluffy. Um, it's made with protein derived from the mung bean. So you're going to get seven grams of protein per serving. It's cholesterol free. And just egg also has this pourable format. So you can put it in your French toast. You can scramble it. These are delicious. They taste just like egg, and you can find them at Whole Foods or ju.st. They're really delicious and easy. Yeah, that so sounds for the great. Morning, easy. I I'm actually I'm doing meatless Mondays right now. I started that during the pandemic. Oh. So that's I know Courtney, you might have, <laughs> appreciate that. Okay, <laughs> 30 seconds left, Heather. Let's go over the last item that you have for us. I, I see pancakes. Yes, of course, birch fender. So pancake mixes and toaster waffles. And get this, they, of course, they've got their classic pancake mix. They also have a paleo, a keto. They have these paleo toaster waffles. So you're gonna get that high protein. The only thing you add in these is water. So no eggs, no milk necessary. I've got my kids making these. We're all staying at home for schooling and they make it. So, you know, that high protein, the keto, um, they come out really crispy and fluffy. Yes, the keto only has five grams of net carbs. And so something for the whole family and you can find birch vendors at Safeway. Awesome. I love it. Okay, so we've got the whole breakfast staple meal provided. The coffee, the <laughs> eggs, and of course, the yummy pancakes. Heather with the hot bar, thank you so much. We're going to have all of those linked up to our website, gooddaysacramento.com. Take care, my friend. Thanks for joining us this morning. Take care, everyone. All right, back to you. Okay, Courtney, you like yep. that? Meatless Mondays. Love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff. And she always has good stuff, too. Yeah, she does. Thanks, I love Dina. it.